you're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI show where we look at content moderator, where you can look at your content and have the computer tell you if maybe you should take another look at it. Hey there, welcome to this episode of the AI show. We're going to talk about content moderation. I'm here with Greg. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you, Seth? Good. What do you do? I'm a product manager for Content Moderator, one of the cognitive services uh, that we're uh, pushing out through the Azure platform. Fantastic. So content moderation isn't just about sending stuff in and getting stuff back. There's a whole framework and we talked a little bit about that. Can you give us just a 30 second overview of, of content moderation? Yeah, so content moderation is really about solving the scenario that customers have uh, in managing the content coming into their platforms and how, they're and how it's being shown to their users. And so we bring the suite of uh, tools together for images, text, and video, as well as the human in the loop component uh, to create the end-to-end -end scenario. Awesome, so what are we talking about today? So today I'm just going to do a quick demo of uh, our image API and our text API. And so uh, in, the last, in the last segment you saw the video API, so uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're good there, uh, but we wanted to, to give an overview of these. And so with, within image, we're going to go through evaluate, find faces, and OCR. So how do people get to this, this area? Yeah, so to get here is really you can either get to it from within the Azure portal, the Azure uh, Content Moderator blade, okay. uh, click through from there, or you can do it directly from the azure.com website. From awesome. The Cognitive Services section. Uh, so, uh, evaluate image is really about uh, finding adult racy content within your uh, images coming through into your platform. And so um, it's one of the most popular scenarios that customers have. And uh, it's really easy to kind of test out to see how well the capability works by just going to this API portal. Uh, one of the things you have to do is you have to pick the, uh, the data center that your uh, keys have been provisioned in. And so in my case, I used West US. So I'm going to click into that. And now I'm into the area where I can start testing. Uh, the, the easy thing to do here is you just grab your API key, which I already have. Uh, let's just cut and paste that. And uh, paste it into this box here. And then we can even use the sample JSON that's already pre-populated into the portal. Uh, we can click send. And that, uh, did, uh, that sends the image off to the service and does its classification. In this scenario, you can see that the results came back as, as negative, uh, which is good. Uh, if we were to look at that image, it wasn't any adult or racy content. So uh, that's the expected result. Uh, awesome. I do want to show what that looks like for an uh, image that is, uh, has some racy content, or at least racy in certain um, countries, potentially. And so this uh, image here is some people in uh, jumping into a lake uh, in their swimsuits. And let's just uh, paste that into our JSON request here and go ahead and hit send. And that uh, image comes back as um, racy, true. Uh, ultimately, this is really something you would want to use these either the score or the, the Boolean value here and send that to uh, your human reviewers to make sure that that, in fact, does violate the uh, policies in your platform. So we want to take a quick look at what that, that image looks like so we know what we were actually sending. Here's the, here's the content. OK. so. As we're looking at this, this is just an API that you call and you can wrap yeah. it in any language. If there's, there's probably SDKs yep. and such. Yeah, we have SDKs for .NET, uh, Ruby, Node.js, and Python. Oh, fantastic. And so yeah. this is just a submit, and yeah. then you get a score. You can rely on that score, or you can send it in through content moderation, which is something that we saw in the previous Yeah, video. you saw that in the previous demo, and then there will be some additional follow-up uh, demos to talk about some other capabilities there. Uh, so that was evaluate. So the other uh, capability we have here is called find faces. And the scenario that uh, why this is important for content moderation is because there's some certain uh, businesses that don't want to have faces or they want to know when a face appears in their content. So maybe you're a hotel booking platform and you let your hotel property owners submit content to be uh, shown on your website, but you don't want people in those because of uh, PII reasons or whatever reasons might exist sure. uh, exist there. So uh, I'm going to again pick the uh, West US region and uh, grab our API key here um, and paste that in. And like I said before, this comes with a pre-populated JSON request, so we can go ahead and hit send. And this uh, a this image didn't have any people in it. So, and that is good that our face detection came back with no people. Uh, but let's actually grab an image that does have some people in it. So let's go ahead and grab this picture. Uh, this picture is a picture of a hotel property that has uh, of their swimming pool. Uh, but as you can see, there's not actually any faces present here. So my expectation is that my face detection comes back as negative. negative. 
So let's go ahead and uh, see what, ha what happens here. Uh, let's paste this image in and go ahead and click send. And so what we, did, I go, did it send? Oops. Oh, it did not detect, oh, that's because I'm in, no, I'm in fine faces. Interesting. It has the right image. Oh, yeah, I didn't click. Oh, it's not supposed to find faces. Oh, right, yeah, it worked correctly. <laughs> <laughs> because like everyone's, fa and here's yeah. the thing that was confusing, it's like there's, there's people, people there. How come it's yeah. not finding the people? Well, because it's it's looking for it's faces. Looking for faces, exactly. So that that did hit our scenario. I was ahead of myself on our uh, wow. on our images there. Uh, so what if we did want to find? What if we had an image that had faces in it? Let's go ahead and and see that as well. Uh, grab this guy and paste it into our our JSON request here. And we'll go ahead and hit send. And while that's processing, let me just pull up the image so we can see what it looks like. And so we have three people in here. Um, you know, faces aren't exactly totally obvious, but let's see what the API told us. Uh, it looks like we did find one face. We actually found the, we provide the position of the face. Wow. So if the uh, scenario was that, you know, we just do a blurring effect on where the, where the face is, you can use that positioning to, to do, apply those uh, effects. That's pretty cool. So if you're, for example, have pictures that you want to like take people's faces out of it yeah. because they're maybe minors and they show yeah. up and you just want to show like an area, yeah. you could totally just use the bounty boxes to do it. Absolutely, that. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do there um, and uh, it provides a lot of, lot of flexibility. So the other uh, operation here is called match. Uh, this is really about matching custom content uh, uh, that you load, custom images. So if you create an image and you say, I don't want this image showing up in, in say other marketing campaigns or something like that, or I want to know if it's showing up on Twitter, um, you can actually find similar versions of that uh, image uh, using this match API. So there's a, a coordinate or a, another API called list management where you actually would upload all the images you don't want to have showing up in your service. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, would use those lists and, and use the match API to detect those. I'm not going to show that today, but there's a lot of different scenarios that we can use. So let me see if I understand. So I have an image of something that I want to make sure I match to other things. Yeah. But it's like, let's just say, because I'm a big Shasta drinker, sure. I think we yeah. all are. You know what I'm saying? So let's just say I have like a, I'm a Shasta root beer drinker yeah. and I have a picture of Shasta root beer, it's going to match that to other Shasta cans. Uh, it's not actually object detection, so the, so it wouldn't find other Shasta cans, but it would find a similar version of that entire image uh, I see. out there. So if you were like, hey, I want to see if this image showed up in some, some other place, then you could actually use that I matching. I see, I see. So, so for example, if you're an artist and then you drew some beautiful thing, you want to see if someone's ripping that off somewhere. Yeah. That could would be, be one way to do it. Could be a good example of, okay. of how to use the API. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then OCR is, uh, you know, it's optical character rec recognition. Uh, this is a lot of different scenarios for why this shows up in content moderation, um, but a lot of cases it's, you know, making sure that there's not bad uh, content in the in the uh, bad in, bad text in the in the images. And yeah, so, we used to sneak stuff by by typing stuff in the pictures, yeah, and then exactly. it wouldn't even detect it anymore. Yeah, absolutely. So not anymore, kids. <laughs> exactly. And uh, uh, same thing. I'll pick the right uh, data center and grab our API key. Um, here and uh, there are some additional parameters you can set. So this enhanced parameter is interesting because it allows us to do a more enhanced OCR matching. Where we had some scenarios where customers were uh, saying, "Hey, the, you know, regular OCR is not catching these these uh, fraud situations where people are trying to bypass maybe my free trial, where they're mm -hmm. putting information that would only be allowed to be entered after they put it in a credit card, like a phone number or something on a profile pic." And so what they uh, can do is turn on this enhanced capability, which does some additional detections or additional image enhancements before it does the OCR to find some of those scenarios where people are trying to trick trick the service. So you can't even be sneaky. Yeah, yeah. It's just, what are we, what's what the world coming to? <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead and grab uh, one of the images here that we have text on. So uh, here's a sample image with a nice um, piece of text. So we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. Go without a plan is just a wish. So we should, should in the response here, see that content show up. Um, and we'll send that. And in fact, it does go without a plan is just a wish. So let's just assume for a second. Even with the line breaks, though. Yeah, character turns, yeah. line breaks. So it does a good job of, of all those capabilities. 
So that, that kind of is, is an overview of the image capability. So uh, I picked OCR last, not because it shows up last in the list, but because it actually is usually paired with our text capability. So let's assume for a minute that content in that image said, you know, a plan, a uh, uh, goal without a plan is just crap. So let's take this text and assume that we are passing it into our screen text API. Uh, again, we picked the right region. And uh, here we're going to put the content in here. And there's, our, there's a text that would have been uh, captured from that OCR event. And go ahead and grab our key. And then there's also a bunch of parameters here. So autocorrect allows you to run some uh, autocorrect capabilities on the text. So if you wanted to make sure, give suggestions to say your forum users to say maybe you should say it like this, it's going to be a little more professional. Um, a PII is things where we can detect email addresses and phone numbers, things that you know might get your users in trouble. Like you don't want you know right. kids putting their phone number, hey, I'm home alone, anybody want to come hang out, whatever. You know, So there might be scenarios where you want to detect those things to protect your users from themselves. Uh, and then classify is set to true. That's by default in this UI. That provides a classification of the text. Um, and in language, if you know the language or you expect it to be in this particular language, then you can actually pass that value in as well. Leave it blank and it'll do the language detection for you. So let's go ahead and do a, a send on this and see what we get. Uh, so we had the original text and the normalized text basically the same. There wasn't any uh, re recommendation for correction there. Uh, but in the classification, we actually did get a review recommended. So um, there's three categories here. Uh, this category one is more on the adults type of content, was a low score. Category two is more things that would be suggestive in nature. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a uh, fairly low score as well. Uh, but the category three is things that might be considered offensive. So, um, you know, if you're trying to run a kids, you know, uh, chat platform, you may not want them talking like this. And so that gave a pretty high score. And that also tri triggered the review recommended to true. So the idea here is that you want to, uh, you probably want to send this to a human in the loop to make sure, sure that they, uh, um, you know, take care of those types of behaviors or, or at least evaluate them. The other thing that you see here is we have this uh, terms that came back. So what we found was the word crap, that this is more on a, on a profanity matching capability and that sh we actually show where it showed up at. So if you wanted to say, hey, we're going to allow this comment, but we're going to mask it so that it uh, makes it less uh, impactful, um, we can do that as well very quickly. This is pretty amazing. And so, Thanks. I mean, you can do this with just a couple of calls yeah. and with a key, and you just set this up on Azure, get some keys, and then go to work. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Greg, for spending some time yeah. with us. We've been learning about content moderation with images, with text, and then you saw how in previous videos you can put this all together to get a human in the yeah. loop as well, which is very important. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this has been the AI Show. We'll see you next time. Take care. See you. Thanks.